Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to be taking a look at how you can layer sounds in Halley and Sonic. So there's a couple of approaches you can take to this. Which one you want to use is going to depend on the way you're working on any particular instance. But there's two ways to do this that I think are fairly straightforward to do. So first things first, let's just have a look at effectively the problem. So here we have our Halley and Sonic and we've got the S90 ES piano sound on it perfectly nice sound but let's say we want to be able to add another sound to this so let's just say we've taken leave of our senses and think piano and strings perfect let's go back in time a bit so what you would probably do is go to the second slot and search for some strings so in this case I'm just going to go peak 1990s with some 1990s synth strings and now what we want to do is to get them played both at the same time now, there's a bit of a clue in the page that I'm on. So this MIDI tab here is the key to doing this the first way. And all you need to do is to change the channel here. So if you change the channel here from two, probably to one, because typically that's what an instrument track will be set to, then both of these will now be responding to channel one. And when I play, you can hear I'm getting piano and synth strings at the same time. Now you're probably going to want to change the mix. That's pretty easily done. So I think the strings are a bit overbearing. So we can turn them down here. And if that's what you're after, that's probably more like it. So you can extend this as much as you want. So you could add a third sound if you wanted. You could add all 16 if you, if you really wanted to. There is an extension to this which is a bit of a clue on the MIDI page, which is where you can set the range of notes which this responds to. So you could maybe have a bass in this part of the keyboard, synth strings all the way across and piano up there. And in fact, some of the Halion Sonic multis take advantage of this. So if we close this one and open up this one, which again is Halion Sonic 7, just on a bass and piano multi, which I've loaded up. And we can see on the MIDI section here, the acoustic bass, is playing up until that G sharp two, and then from that A onwards, it's piano. So low down, we get bass, and then from there upwards, we get piano. So here on this C, I've got piano, an octave below, I've got that. So even though they're both on channel one, the MIDI range here is setting, which gets played. They can overlap, there's no reason why not. So you could have a, an octave of piano and bass whether or not that works in this particular case is for you to decide, but it's it's pretty easy to set up. And you could have a pretty complicated patch with multiple sounds all over the place. So that's the first way to do it. And if you're using an instrument track, that's probably the way you're gonna go. But there is another way to do it, which uh, may or may not be the way you wanna work. So here I've got another Halley and Sonic set up. And on this instrument, I've done the same thing again. So I've got the piano here in slot one and the synth strings on slot two, but I haven't changed the MIDI. So this is still on channel one, that's still on channel two. So if I play this on the instrument track itself, you can see we're just getting the piano. And the reason for that is, is here because this is where the MIDI is being channelized to, but it's, it's being set to channel one. If we change this to channel two, we'll get the synth strings because this is set to channel two here because that's set to channel two and that's set to channel two that's what we'll get if we set it to channel three if we had something in slot three set to channel three etc you'd get that hopefully you get the idea now it is possible to send it to multiple channels at the same time and in fact it's possible to send this to multiple synths at the same time so let's just look at the simpler example where we're going to send two channels worth of midi to the same Halion Sonic. So I'm just going to put that back to channel one, just so it's it's as you would find it. Now here I've set up a MIDI track, and the reason I'm using a MIDI track is because we need to use MIDI sends. So you have plenty of different sections available in a MIDI track. One of them is MIDI sends. If that doesn't appear, just click the cog here and make sure you tick MIDI sends, and then it will appear. Now if you go into the MIDI sends section of the inspector, this is the key. So at the moment, this track here is sending out 
to Halley and Sonic from MIDI on channel one. So if we go and have a look in the inspector here, we can see it's set to Halley and Sonic from MIDI and it's on channel one. So if I play this, we get the same effect. We get the piano and you can see that's playing that on there. Let's just open that up so we can actually see that on screen. So we can see the little one lighting up because we're on channel one. If I was to change this here to channel two, you can see the two lighting up and you can hear the synth strings. Now, what we can do with MIDI sends, so we go to this section of the inspector, is we can turn these on. You can put in an effect, but we're not gonna put in effect, we're just gonna use this as a send. And then you can pick the destination. So here, I'm gonna go Halley and Sonic from MIDI. And then I'm gonna change it to channel two. And now, this track here is sending directly to channel one there, but this one here is sending on channel two to the same synth. So when I play, we can hear we get that layering of those two. Again, let's just change the mix so it's a bit more balanced. And you can see those note events happening on one and two at the same time. And you can extend this in the way you can with the other one. So we could just load up um, organ, organ even. So let's just put in a bit of 60s draw bar organ at a low level. And again, we can add another send. So obviously there's a limit to this because we've only got so much, we've only got four slots here. So, but there we go. So now we're on one, two, and three. So this gives you uh, different options. Now, one of the reasons this is useful to see is because this doesn't have to be to the same synth. So let's say we've decided we want this, this, and a different instrument. All we need to do is to create a new instrument track. So let's add something else. Let's just add in Retrolog, because it's quick and easy. So here's Retrolog, and obviously we've got the, the default Retrolog sound, but let's find something a little more interesting. So there we've got that. Now we can send this to a different instrument. We don't have to send it all to the same thing. So I can just pick the destination here. I can say Retrolog. We'll stick it on channel one. Slightly confusingly, up is down on the MIDI channel selection here. It's slightly weird. And now when I play this, I'm getting channels one and two on here, but also Retrolog as well. So this gives you much more flexibility while changing the channels within Halley and Sonic. So you're just playing it and layering it up is one way to do it. Doing it with MIDI sends means that you can send it across multiple instruments. Five effectively, because you can have one from the MIDI track you're on, and then you can have another four going to four different instruments. And you could, of course, turn monitor on on multiple tracks, but just trying to limit it to what we can do from within a track. And that should give you a bit more flexibility. As ever, hopefully you found that useful and you'll be able to apply that somewhere in the music that you make. And we'll see you again soon for more Music Tech Tuition.